Hey there, Olivia here. In this video, I'd like to show you and take you through a roll stretch technique to target the muscles in the lower back. Just give you a visual of that. You will be using a ball and you'll be placing the ball round about here. So not right on the spine, the bony bits of the spine and not right on the bony bits of the hip, just a little bit to the side of that. Then secondarily, we're gonna move the ball lower down and roll the sacrum, very base of the spine there. It's done in a lying down on your back position, so it's relaxing in that sense, but it's quite intense, you'll find. So you may care to choose a tennis ball, a reasonably soft ball the first time you do it, and then you can progress to a harder ball. So I'll just scoot back and make sure I'm fully in view of the camera. So you're lying on your back, the knees are bent, my feet are flat on the floor, the feet are a little bit wider than hip width apart, be most stable. We'll be using the legs throughout the exercise. And then lift the hips and place the ball in that part of the lower back. So not pressing into the bony bits of the spine or the bony bits of the hip. It should feel like the soft tissue is what the ball is pushing into. And as with all of these techniques, you have to wriggle around a little bit to find a bit that is sensitive. And then just let your butt sink down onto the floor again. And initially, what does it feel like lying here, relaxed, but with that ball pressing into that part of the lower back? Breathe deeply onto the ball there. Literally, every time you breathe in, breathe down onto the ball. And it will have the effect of have it feel like it's pressing into those lower back muscles. Good. All right. Now, have a play with small attempts at tucking the tail, which you all know is a way to flatten the lumbar curve. And when you tuck the tail gently, you'll feel the ball press into the lower back muscles more. And then do the opposite, the untucking movement, which is an arching movement, and you'll feel the pressure relieves a little bit because the ball is not pushing in quite as much. So just play with that movement of tucking the tail, feel how that presses the ball in more strongly, and then untucking. And just feel what it feels like and work out how much of the tucking movement you can do and not make it too intense. So I put on a little tail tuck. My glutes are now actually hovering off the floor a little bit and relax there, completely relax. Now that my glutes are just off the floor, I can add a whole range of movements. In a controlled way, I'm moving my hips to the side away from camera, and then I'm moving the hips the other direction towards camera. So the ball is being moved side to side across those lower back muscles. Move nice and slowly, totally in your control, and work out where are the super sensitive spots. And when you find one, pause there, so no movement now. Can you relax more? And can you breathe more deeply onto the ball? Good. Now a little bit more tail tuck as the muscles soften. We want the ball to press in there just a little bit more intensely. Now I'm doing a little heel hooking action, which then moves my hips towards my heels and moves the ball up towards my shoulders fractionally. And then I do the opposite. I press through the heels and the ball gets dragged a little bit lower down towards the feet. So now we're working the ball on those tissues in an up-down movement. How does that feel? Are you still breathing? Good, only small movements. It's all you'll need for this particular sequence. Good, a little bit more tail tuck. Next, lift one hip up, 
other one will drop down a little bit and then go the other way. There'll be a tiny bit of a lateral shift of the hips as you do this, but it's more about one hip coming up and one hip lowering down. And feel where the sensitive spots are. For me, it's where the ball is, maybe an inch and a half away from the spine itself. Alright, now the leg on the side that you have the ball against, you're going to lift that one up and cross it over the other knee, settle there, and this knee, let it relax down towards the floor. Now you've got quite a lot more intensity you'll find the ball is really pressing into those lower back muscles and then we'll try the same set of movements i'm doing side to side movements of my hips away from camera and towards camera i'm tucking the tail more i'm going to drop that cross top leg way down towards the floor and then the foot that's on the floor, I'm going to press it down into the floor a little bit more in order to press the ball in more intensely. Are you able to breathe and relax? If you find that it's too intense and you're holding yourself rigid away from the feeling of the ball pressing in, you're really just fighting yourself. So back it off in intensity and make sure you can breathe and relax. To finish this sequence, I'm doing some circles of my pelvis hips on top of the ball. Go one direction, then I'm going to change and go in the other direction. With all of the roll stretch techniques, you can vary the speed of your movement. As you relax a little bit more, you might find that you can move just a little bit more quickly. And then try some combination movements. I'm doing the circles on top of the ball, but I'm also tucking and untucking in combination with the circles. I'm adding a little bit more rotation, dropping the knee down, lifting the knee up. Play with a variety of movements. Okay, to come out, uncross that top leg and put it down on the floor and then settle the hips again and feel what it feels like in that area that you've just been rolling as you just rest here hips are down on the ground now now we'll try rolling the sacrum so lift the hips up you're going to move the ball lower down you definitely feel like you're pressing into some more bony structures here. I'm going to spread the feet a bit wider so I feel completely in control of the movement and settle there. Reposition anything if you find what you've got the ball on is not giving you any sensation then move it. Rest. Let your bottom muscles relax. To begin Resume your small scale tucking and untucking. Find out whether the slightly tucked pelvis gives you more intensity compared to the slightly untucked. For me, it's very slightly untucked. And then once you've played with that, keep that position in the pelvis and start with some side to side movements. Control the movement via your legs, feet on the floor. The feet can be providing a pushing and pulling force. You can work that out. As you move one direction, one foot will be pulling your hips that way. The other one can be pushing. Good. 
When you find a sensitive spot, just pause there and try the lifting one hip up, dropping the other one down and then go the other way. You'll find as you move in one direction, away from the spine, away from the midline of the body, you might even start to feel some of those piriformacy, outer hip muscle type sensations come in. Lots of sensitivity here, you'll probably find. Good. And then settle. No movement at all. Close your eyes and focus only on breathing onto the ball and relaxing more as you breathe out each time. Feel yourself getting heavier and heavier on top of the ball. Relax. Relax more. Couple more deep breaths in and out. Relax your abdomen, relax your bottom muscles. Relax. Okay, and to come out, press down through the heels so you can lift the hips and Take the ball out there and then simply lie there, completely relaxed. And just feel what it feels like through the side that you just rolled. Way down low towards the base of the spine, coming up into the lower back muscles on that side. How do they feel? Hopefully they feel more relaxed. All right, give that one a go. And of course you'd also do the other side.